Have you heard about the son who ran away and blew all of his inheritance on reckless spending? Jesus tells this parable in Luke 15 verses 11 through 31. I'm going to be summarizing it, but if you want to check it out for yourself, I highly recommend. In this parable, there's a father who has two sons. The younger son asks the father for his inheritance, so the father gives it to him. But then the son runs off on his own and spends all of the money recklessly. So now he has no food and is at risk of starving. So he tries to figure out how to get food on his own, but no one will give him any food. So eventually he decides to just go back to his dad and ask for mercy and ask him to let him be his servant so that he can at least get food as a servant. But when he shows up at his father's place, much to his surprise, his father greets him with a hug and a kiss and throws a feast in celebration of his lost son's return. Now, when the older son heard about this, he was really angry because he didn't understand why his brother gets this whole celebration after being disobedient for so long. Meanwhile, he's been here serving his father the whole time and doesn't even get the same kind of celebration. So the father says to him, son, you are always with me and all that is mine is yours. It was fitting to celebrate and be glad for your brother was dead and is alive. He was lost and is now found. So if you relate to the prodigal son in this parable, then this is for you. No matter how far you run from God and no matter how many mistakes you make, his grace is sufficient. He will always be waiting with open arms ready for you to come back home because he is a good, good father. He loves you so much that he forgives you even if you haven't yet forgiven yourself. So come back into his loving arms today. And if you relate to the older son, then this is for you. I know it can be hard to look around and see others being blessed even when they haven't been as obedient to the Lord as you have. But find peace in knowing that your place in the Lord's house has already been secured and instead of being upset when someone comes back into the Lord's house, celebrate alongside with them and rejoice knowing that another lost sheep has been found. Make sure to like and share this video with someone who needs it. Have a blessed day!